I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. What the fuck? What? I've heard of this film. So, no, this wasn't a surprise. Uh, first off, thanks go out to... Raven White, who asked for my opinion on this, sent in a PayPal. I appreciate it. A uh, River White, if I learned how to fucking talk and read, but this movie just killed my brain cells, so I can't even read anymore. I didn't learn how to read. River White, Raven. Yeah, I wish a Raven came out, or you know the crows in Resident Evil, and they pet through my fucking skull till there was nothing but brain and then they took the brain they dumped it in a fucking ditch with a bunch of bitch is out there to skull fuck my brain how they don't skull fuck you they put a strap on with studded earrings on it and fuck my brain to submission and propulsion and discombobulation but anyway river white sorry about that for my brain fart River White, thank you for the PayPal request. If anyone ever wants to request reviews via PayPal for, or any type of videos, really, PayPal is down below in the info box. Or if you want to join my Patreon, which are certain tiers, depending on that, you can do certain things. My Patreon's down below as well. But this movie, it's not a surprise because I've heard of this film before. It was for free on YouTube, so I didn't have to pay anything. It came out in 2012, technically. Apparently it was shot like five or six days. Which I call bullshit. I would say it was shot in five or six hours. Five or six days, my ass. Five or six hours, I could believe. Apparently the budget, everything put in is like ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. I'm like, bullshit. More like ten, twelve dollars, and half of it went to a six pack of beer. Forever did this. This is just fucking pathetic. This is a pathetic fucking movie, and I know it's meant to be—it's meant to be a parody of the Hulk. Obviously, I read an interview that the director at one point. Before this, he wanted to do a parody of Spider-Man, but with a lady. I'm like, then how the fuck does it call Spider-Man if it's with a lady? 
but you want to do a parody of Spider-Man, but a lady. Is the lady going to be a butch named Spider-Man? A lesbian lady? Who just, I'm Spider-Man because I have no opinion of man and woman. I could be whoever the fuck I want. Yeah, and I'm Brad Pitt. Doesn't mean I have his fucking money, do I? His checkbook. And then one thing led to another, and this, he got a bunch, apparently this director got a bunch of free shit he found on various websites, and said, I'm going to use all these assets, and then make a film surrounding all this, where, I don't even know how you call these effects, to call them bad effects is not even enough, these are... I have seen how the how the hell do you even describe them? The call them video game is an insult to video games. I mean, I've seen Nintendo games look better than this. I've seen Atari games look better than this. And that's not an over exaggeration. I mean, the shit that you would get for free an Emil's DOS or a, a free fucking sampler you would get if you get a fucking computer. Back in the day, I, flash animation. I've seen better compositions of art than this. I mean, if this shit was for free, it'd be too goddamn much money. It'd be like, no, if you want to take it, I will pay you just so you can take it. Oh, I, I, I'm not going to take it for free. You don't have to pay me, and then I'll take it. I mean, how many times can I say the effects are bad, the green screen is beyond pathetic, acting is garbage all around, oh, you're not supposed to take it seriously because this is a parody, or maybe on purpose, he made it a bad movie, or I didn't think I'd be making a bad movie, but then he's like, oh, well, it's a B movie, you know, Z-grade movie, that's an insult to B-movie, Z-grade, bad movie, you know what, that doesn't impress me. Yeah, I can understand enjoying a, a bad B movie, but a lot of times those are films that tried and they just failed, but then it came off funny. Silent Night, Daily Night Part 2 is a perfect example. Eric, Eric Freeman, he made that performance his, and he wasn't purposely going, hey, I'm silly, ain't I? He's, does, he was doing what he was told, and it just came off a lot more entertaining than anyone thought, and so that's part of the the fun of it but it's also an insult when I see many people that are doing their best to make low budget productions work as valid as possible for the viewer I just saw a film the other day called Broken Path Broken Fist Taku Yakuza which is a entertaining fun action movie with Johnny Young Bosch does that get a DVD in the US? No, maybe a DVD Blu-ray overseas, but this film got not one, but two DVDs. One like 2012 and 2015, something like that. So he got reissued not one, twice. Like literally got out, oh, this all reissued it again with a different cover. There are films out there that don't even have a DVD release. They are strictly stopped on VHS level of media. I don't know why I'm talking like William Shatter. The the stepladder media, you know, VHS, laser disc, DVD, they're still stuck on VHS. Nowhere else. Murder by phone, also known as Bells, with Richard Chamberlain, in which Richard Chamberlain gives a very solid performance. And yeah, it's a silly idea, but it's entertaining people's eyes bleed and they're being blown back through the glass or against cabinets these lightning like explosions those people actually tried to make a movie that film stuck on VHS Nightlife also known as Grave Misdemeanors with Scott Grimes who is the lead kid in Critters and the grown up version of, the, of that character in Critters too. Nightlife also known as Grave Misdemeanors that doesn't have a DVD 
let alone a Blu-ray that's stuck on VHS. I guarantee you, everyone out there can name multiple films that are stuck on VHS tape. But this got DVD not once, but twice. This pathetic $2 shit show. That... It, it makes me go, how can I even make fun of it? Because... It opens up with a purple people eater looking like Butterbean ready to beat up Johnny Knoxville. Purple people eater motherfucker who gets a girl killed. Uh, the guy shoots. You see a little bit of this later because this is a flashback. No, it's it plays out. Then it's a flashback. Then we'll get back to that scene. And whether the first... There's a sequence where the guy has like a Glock or whatever. I forget the exact type of pistol. And then he'll shoot with a sit shooter. And it'll be like this. And then when it falls to the ground, it goes back to a Glock. I don't think it's called a Glock. I forget exactly what it is. But two pistol, bane, bane, John Woo style. And then it turns to a sit shooter. Uh, for fuck's sake. This is not rocket science. That you can't even tell what fucking gun your character had when you did your shitty effect. I guess the but any faults you just consider it a parody. It's a parody, Matt. You're not supposed to take it seriously, Matt. But it's not fucking funny. It's just bad acting. The same bad effect. The the guy has a wedding ring because he wants to. Ask the lady for his hand, her hand in marriage. The fucking thing looks like something you would get fucking chocolate candy out of. Every place they go to is a green screen. You can't afford two people to sit in a fucking car. Just have them sit in a car and put a green screen behind it. But no, you have a fake car that looks like the fucking Jetsons. The fucking Jetsons. Where it's a fucking bubble and then the fuck. You have a guy who's a scientist, this lady who he loves, her father is a general. They go see the general. And you can't af you can't shoot in a living room. You can't do that. The the guy, the scientist developing a serum that will increase a user's strength, longevity. They're doing a test on a mouse. They can't afford a mouse. This film is so cheap, it can't afford a mouse, it can't afford a dog, and it can't afford a car. So a fake mouse, it disappears in a blue fork bomb. And then later on, like a red fart bomb, where the fuck color is. When the lead goes up to ask his the general's daughter out and the door is open, the guy's staying there with flowers and looks like he's in outer space with someone constantly coming. It's supposed to be a fountain. But it might as well be a giant man, maybe Ant-Man when he became Giant Man, just fucking spouting of cum while he's on his back. That's why it might fucking well be. Jesus Christ. I'd rather be picking this microphone or picking my ass than watch this film ever again. It's just pathetic on every front you can think of. Why see people put their hard and work into fan films and then they can't get anything for it because even though they put hard work, my friend Michael Keen makes fan films. He's never going to get paid for them because they're Star Trek. Obviously, you know that going in. He's doing it more for the love. And there's passion behind it. What's the passion in this? What's, what's the passion? And this has a DVD release that you can get for 10 bucks on Amazon. That they play a song for free on YouTube. They have to pay a fucking dime. 
the general's talking shit. Well, I don't want her to marry a deadbeat. I'm like, a deadbeat? The guy's a fucking scientist. How does that equal a deadbeat? You have this bad guy who's talking like a guy from Hogan's Heroes. From living, looking, what the fuck was he saying? Uh, Push the button, my labshin. Put the button. Put the noggin. My labshin puts the Z button. I mean, when you can't even afford a fucking dog, you can't afford a fucking living room. The bad guy, again, every single scene is green screen. Every single one. The bad guy's with his bimbo lady. They're in a living room like this. And then he's looking and it's two guys with a shield and from a fucking castle. So living room, he's looking, it's two people with shields in front of a fucking castle. But again, I guess that's this guy's idea of parody. How about I film, okay, if I film this and then for 80 minutes, I just did and then I show my balls and then I moon the camera and go and then I just show random images I did for free some with narration some with not some backwards fours upwards downwards in a ditch in a bitch cursing not cursing singing kumbaya fucking ah and then at the end it's a parody of found footage movies it's a bad parody found footage movie ha ha I'm validated. No, people go, you're full of shit. With a capital shit. But yet, films that are generally, in my opinion, good, or definitely more merit than this, and I guarantee you, you all can find films that are only on VHS. And have no DVD. But this, this fucking piece of shit does. And you know why I got bought? Because, oh, superhero films are a thing. Anything remotely like a superhero, especially around that time when Marvel's getting up with Iron Man and all these movies, of course, The Incredible Hulk, others, we'll put it on there. We make the cover look like a superhero movie. Superheroes a theme. And a movie as pathetic as this can get released. Yes, it's an insult to me as a fan of movies. And the, this guy, the bad guy, I swear he wants to be the bad guy from Rocky and Bullwinkle. Uh, the fearless leader, whatever the fuck his name. The one, the guy Robert De Niro played in the live action movie. And at the end, they, they can't afford a dog. The bad guy th shoots rockets all across the world. I guess to the monuments. And then, one thing at least another, the lead guy takes the serum. All of a sudden, a fucking tornado happens in his green screen. I mean, his lab. A purple hand comes up, which is a real purple. But it's one of those things where the foam is literally squishing itself as when it clenches. It's ready to cave in and fall apart immediately. Immediately. And then it goes back to the very beginning where our hero gets this girl killed and with this MS Paint would be an insult to MS Paint to explain this. And then he has a gun. Something you know, something that John Woo, John, John Woo or John Wick would have. And then it cuts to the guys holding like this with a sit shooter. And then when it falls to the ground, it's back to a different fucking gun. I know this is a stupid thing, but it's kind of weird that this scientist has like a big fucking tattoo on his arm as if he's fucking Jason Mewes or something. Like this big... F I think Jason Mewes has that. I don't know why. I'm just thinking of any fucking name that take my mind off this bullshit. He just has this like big tattoo. I'm like, wow, I don't know many scientists that have tattoos like that. Okay. And then the scene... He's the purple people eater with his ass hanging out. Then he's a human for 30 seconds. Then he's turned back to the purple people eater. 
Then the police come. Will you open while I'm still old? I'm going, wait a minute. Isn't that supposed to be... Will you open while I'm still young? Because what the fuck does... Will you open while I'm still old? Compared to what? Older? Or oldest? Will you open while I'm still old? So you fucked up the line where it's supposed to be, will you open while I'm still young? That's the phrase, because while I'm still young, if I wait, I'm going to be older. So you didn't even write straight. But I'm supposed to chalk that off too. It's parody. Oh, so pe cops can't fucking talk right. Okay. You know what? Go watch Naked Gun. Which is that wittier and funnier. Go watch, hell, fucking Spy Hard. It's a masterpiece compared to this. Wrongfully accused is a masterpiece compared to this. This is beyond fucking pathetic. So they talk to him. They leave. One of them thinks that he's the guy. One thing leads to another. The cops chase as the guys become the purple people eater again. Purple butter bean. A chopper out of the blue follows. The people in the chopper sounds like they were recording a fucking auditorium. It, it the purple fuck kills the lady cop, destroys the chopper. I I don't even need to go into the effects because what what the hell can I say? That South Park looks like Blade Runner twenty forty nine compared to this. South Park the TV show looks like. any of the fucking Star Wars movies compared to this. I mean, you get lines of dialogue in the vein of sweet dreams, you purple power of cow done. How about a load of bullshit? My dick. Suck it. Fuck you, movie. So the general and them grab the guy. Then he says, you don't go on this mission. Tough titty. So the lead is going. On his journey, he randomly passes by a fucking golf course. And a leprechaun, cartoon leprechaun with gold. And arrives at the castle from Mario Brothers. And then goes in and the bad guy has a boulder that runs over one of his men, but does not touch the guy. Imagine this is the guy, the boulder. But he doesn't even touch him. Doesn't touch him at all. Fuck, a bunch of kids back in the day made a remake of Raiders of the Lost Ark where they actually made a fucking thing that looked like a boulder. Which has, that has more fucking worth the kids did on their summers than this fucking thing. That's why I don't buy that it took five or six days. I would barely buy if it took five or six hours. I would say five minutes, but the only reason it doesn't get that is the movie's an hour and 20 some minutes. And random shit, like the this guy's take on humor. Let's randomly go to this green guy who has one of the haircuts from Kid and Play. Are you from House Party? Are you from Class Act? But this green guy with one of the Kid and Play haircuts with that fucking dog that I saw before. Or was it... Or was it a kid? I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was with a dog. Yeah, the Tim Play haircut green fuck with the dog. And that was like for 10 seconds, randomly, before or since, nothing. I don't even know what the fuck that was about. So then. 
I guess he kills the lady by punching her like this. Oh, stomps on the the bad guy. No blood or anything. Then he's running from the military, and then the director just said, "I'm gonna throw whatever free shit I have and be as completely random as possible." I will have music that's like da 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 like the Lone Ranger theme, and just throw these. I can't even say five dollar animation because that'd be a waste of five dollars if you paid for it. Just uh, cartoon, even that's an insult to cartoons. Cartoons you would see better on commercials back in the day, in the nineties, are more high tech than this. It's running, and the purple people fuck. Pur He's running past kangaroos, playgrounds, Davy it. Fucking Zeus, the fall of Paul, ram your lightning bolt up your ass, Zeus. Random shit, a bomb drops, think the guy's dead, go back home. General is with his daughter, Darth. Oh, she doesn't know what her dad did. Lee Dyer comes back. They have a struggle. They immediately fall off the balcony. They both die. Then they're in a the graveyard. The lady throws some flowers down. The cop from before, whose female partner was killed, pisses on the grave. Then two purple arms come up and be like, and it's the end. And this movie got a DVD release. This movie exists. This movie. Of the multiple films that don't have a DVD release, and this has it. And not just once, but it actually got reissued years later. I think, like this came out, I think one was 2012 and one was 2015. Like the, the issue. It says on Amazon. I just sit there and I go, there are films that only got issued once and never again. Out of print. But you can buy this for ten bucks. Nine ninety nine or something. I could yell and shout and scream and go over the top, but this movie doesn't deserve it because it doesn't deserve anything from anybody. And if you like the film to your own, I This is such a pathetic fucking film. And such a waste of fucking time. Of any sort. And the fact that this... When a movie like this, it shows that... Anything could be on DVD. My friends who make videos on YouTube, your stuff should be on DVD. Because they have more merit than this shit. My friend Fabio, his, all his reviews. My friend Michael CP and all his reviews. My friend The Choice Voice and all his reviews and videos. You all should have actual DVD releases. Because they have more merit than this shit. This is one of the most pathetic pieces of shits I've ever seen in my life. Utterly pathetic. I, I, that's the word that he's harping in my mind. I got nothing else. Thanks for watching. Take care. Thank you once again, River White. And again, if anyone wants to send in requests via PayPal or my Patreon, either way, it's fine. Feel free to watch on your own. It's on YouTube for free. But to me, I'm like, this is just... I'm insulted as a movie fan. That... Something as useless as this... All the scripts they can't get made. Man, this isn't a studio. It's a guy who probably did it by himself. But then that means any movie that anyone makes could be on DVD. And they probably have more merit than this. 
So thanks for watching. Take care. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.